wanted to shoot my daddy and me. Daddy shoot a kid dad. This morning, a six-year-old girl and her parents recovering after they were shot by a neighbor, all because of an errant basketball. Authorities say 24-year-old Robert Lewis Singletary grabbed a gun and approached a group of children after the basketball from their street game rolled into his driveway. According to police, William White, the father of six-year-old Kingsley, noticed Singletary and tried to draw gunfire toward himself to protect the children before being shot in the back. He is still in the hospital. Authorities launching a massive manhunt for Singletary, who remains on the loose. That shooting, just one of several, causing alarm across the country. 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis was shot and killed in upstate New York when the car she was in pulled into the wrong driveway. Kevin Monahan, the man who allegedly fired the deadly shot, appearing in court Wednesday, charged with second-degree murder in connection with her death, the judge denying bail. The 65-year-old accused of shooting at a car full of young friends after they say they mistakenly turned into his driveway in a rural area 60 miles from Albany, New York, Saturday evening. Gillis in the front passenger seat, struck by a single bullet. Kaylin deserves to have her story told. And what a beautiful person she was. And in this grocery store parking lot, just outside of Austin, Peyton Washington, Heather Roth, and two other members of the Woodlands Elite Cheer Company were heading home from practice when Roth says she tried to get into a car she thought belonged to her and saw a man inside. I just saw like a black figure in the passenger seat and I shut the door as fast as I could. She ran back to her friend's car when the man approached her vehicle. And then he just threw his hands up and then he pulled out a gun, and then he just started shooting at all of us. Roth was grazed by a bullet in the gunfire. Washington suffered serious injuries and was taken to the hospital. Police say the suspected gunman, Pedro Rodriguez, is now in custody. Makes you realize what you take for granted pretty quickly that you do every single day when you never expect it to happen to you.